Goes what? big. It's a big shot. Watch what? out in the crowd. Where did that come from? Shot again from Kashile. This is beautiful cricket. Innovative stuff. The Iceman, he can't keep us cool this time. Goes big again. You will catch that in the crowd. All right. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to the ball game. Today we have a special guest, uh, Sinek Kashile, a pro tiers. Uh, Warriors and uh, Josie Stars. Uh, Cricket, welcome, Sine. Yeah, thanks, Tubbs. Um, I'm really happy to be to be on this um, ball game. Um, I think you guys have done so much work behind the scenes to to organise these these interviews, both rugby and cricket. But um, I hope everything is going well for you guys as well. All is well, all is well. Thank you, mate. Hope all is well with you too. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, how have you been doing this lockdown? How have you been dealing with, you know, there's no sort of team training, so you have to do your own thing at home and all of that stuff? Yeah, everything started um, at, the be well, at the beginning of lockdown, I think end of March or so. Um, so, we've had programs since then. Um, I think we're in our third phase now of of fitness, um, drumming work, and everything is going so well. Um, I've reached some of my targets, which 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 I'm really really happy. Um, weight wise, eating wise, um, yeah. So so everything's going well so far for me. But um, obviously, we can't we can't get together as a group just yet. Uh, Still sorting out yeah. protocols for for the stadium and stuff, so we can get together, and hopefully we can we can we can get together at the beginning of August. Good hopefully stuff. the latest. Good stuff. Good stuff. Happy that all is well. So let's get into it proper. So um, yeah, let's 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 touch on dealing with disappointment <laughs> and uh, bouncing back. So at the end of your 2017 year, you were obviously involved with the with the Coke Week and board at the Coke Week. Um, yeah, you captained that board aside, um, yeah. um, obviously making it to the unofficial final, where you guys uh, unfortunately came short. Um, yeah. yeah, and weirdly enough, well, ironically enough, uh, you guys, well, you uh, specifically, you you won the most prestigious award of the night. Uh, being the cricketer of the year, cricketer of the week, sorry. Um, and then next mm, uh, comes yeah. uh, the squad selection for the SA Under-19 World Cup. You just out on that. Uh, how did you manage dealing with uh, the disappointment and then uh, pick yourself up afterwards? Yeah, I think as a cricketer, you, you're bound to have um, disappointments um, week in, week out. You never know when it will come, but um, at that time, if I can remember, um, at Coke Week, I think I've done, I had done two, two Coke Weeks. Um, I think I was I was there and about at the top rank scorers, um, but unfortunately with the World Cup selection, um, it didn't go my way. But um, my dreams never never stopped there. Um, I think at yeah, the yeah, time yeah, was um, sorry. Clearly, your dreams never stopped there. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think at the time, um, you shouldn't be looking at the present and and um, dream big and look at the and look at your future because that's where most of it counts. Um, I think the World Cup selection was was well for me personally. I thought I did well for that week, but um, obviously there were players that that. That had opportunities and played before me. Um, yeah. That had done well at at um, SN19 series. So yeah. I think um, that's that's probably one of the reasons why um, I didn't go through. Um, but other than that, dreaming big was one was one of the the things that I I took forward into my career. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's go into your uh, debut season in, in franchise cricket, uh, in the four-day franchise series, uh, being in the top five run scorers. 
Uh, then yeah. in the Momentum One Day Cup, uh, you scored a half century on debut and you helped your team. That's a quality shot. That is such a great shot by the young man. Oh, wow. What a cricket shot that is by Kashile. So there's a change in the field. Middlefi's back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is it going? Yes, it's gone for another boundary. This is 50 for Kashile on debut. What an innings this has been. Yeah, obviously, coming out of school, um, as an unexperienced player, um, not knowing what you're going to come up with, Batting wise, bowling wise, fielding wise, um, how to handle pressure. But um, what what I think I did well is is I'm a I'm a person that that um, that learns very quickly. Um, yeah, adapt to your situation. I, I think I, I, th I think I think a lot about the game very very well. Um, I come up with situations. Um, very quickly for myself and how to how to have an outcome of the pressure situation so yeah. the momentum one day was 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 quite something for me um scoring a half century on my debut um i think i also did that in the four day if i can recall yeah um but but i came up i came up with a with a top team um, I think you. I think you guys had an interview with Akona, um, the Cobras. So yeah, yeah, it was yeah. quite something for me. Must have been special yeah. playing with your old teammate and all of that stuff. Against yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was very, very nice. Yeah, uh, mate, tell us about that century at Buffalo Park. <laughs> that century at Buffalo Park, playing on your home ground and. Yeah, just tell us about the theatrics. Tell us um, how you how you felt coming into the game. Tell us how you felt when you got to that milestone. Yeah, first of all, for me, um, when I get to a ground, I look at the scenes, um, what's around me, and and Buffalo Park is one of those those stadiums where you get everything. You can you can see the the sea from the ground. Um, you can see the big houses on the back view. Um, you got the big hill, which one of the big hills in, in, in the country. So that's one of the things to, to appreciate where you come from. And, um, and yeah, scoring that century was, was something big for me. Um, that was special. It was one of the teams. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of the teams that, um, that I, I turned down um, going to, and I chose the Warriors, but uh, I think I had the right decision of staying. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was special to score it against them because they're a top, top quality team. Um, they've, they've won so many trophies um, throughout all formats. So, yeah. Yeah, it was quite something special for me, scoring that first one and getting it out of the way. And obviously missing out on a on a four day or ninety nine, but um, yeah, as I said, it was quite something special. That that that's just 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 to add that 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 ninety nine, that got people talking about who's this kid. This kid is special. This kid is going places. Yeah, so, yeah, man. Um, also, how have you managed to uh, transition smoothly um, in a very short period of time, in less than a year or so? Uh, from high school cricket to to semi pro, and then obviously to professional franchise cricket, and obviously uh, branching into the national setup. Yeah, as I said, as a cricketer, you need to you know you need to be more focused on yourself um, most of the time because performance is one of the things that people look at. Um, as I said, I'm a quick learner as well. Um, I didn't play much semi pro if I can. Remember, I think it was two games. Um, but yeah, um, I I I had a lot, I lot, lots of chats with with experienced guys in the camp, um, semi pro and and franchise level. So I I learned quite a lot um, yeah. for the guy from the guys that that, that um, played for more than ten years 
And I think as a young player coming into that setup, it's 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 really it's really it's really grateful. Um, so I've been played guys that, yeah. that yeah yeah the guys have, have, have actually played um, international cricket as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of of leadership, obviously you captained a uh, board at Coke Week. You've captained captained a uh, board at the Africa T Twenty Cup. Um, is leadership something that that comes naturally? The first question is, is: Is leadership something that naturally comes to you? Um, and then also, how does that affect your performance as as an individual player? Yeah, I mean, captaincy from a young age, I think, was in me already. So I don't mind um, taking that role. Um, um, but also. Um, Performance-wise, it it for some people it does take an effect um, because you got that extra role that you got to play. Um, you know, uh, always thinking constantly on your feet, um, and you also got to think about your your own performances, batting-wise or fielding-wise. So, captaincy isn't a really a really effect for me. Um, I don't mind yeah. taking that role. Um, obviously, it also puts an extra, yeah, and also puts an extra role um, behind my back, keeping batting um, captaincy. At the same time, it, it it is actually a workload if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you've also you've, you've I think you've also done that role, so you would know about it. Um, yeah, ah, back in the school days, man. But yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There were there were some chats um, around the Warriors camp um, of taking captaincy, but um, I've had all, I've had thoughts about that, um, but I haven't taken the final decision to to yeah. to, to to take it. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, going to the to the to the the few sort of days or period before uh, being selected. Uh, for the Proteas in that uh, Sri Lanka T20 series. Um, Good manoeuvring from Dick Weller. Back of the bat and out. Oh, I tell you what, that's not so easy for the keeper to go one way and then change direction. That's a tough Um, catch. Just talk us through um, the moment, oh, yeah, yeah, the moment you, you learnt about your actual selection. Uh, together with your actual like experience in the debut and 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 that whole whole whole, whole vibe. Yeah, funny enough, um, I got that phone call in bed. Uh, I think it was seven thirty in the morning in Durban. I got that phone call, um, and I was I was quite excited. Um, Obviously, if obviously an international call up is something, um, is something, how can I say? It's every young young player's dream to play yeah. for their country and wear that yeah. badge with pride. So, um, yeah, just being around that camp, I think um, these guys that played over five five years of international cricket with um, extreme numbers. Unbelievable numbers, yeah. and just being around, just being around, it's, it's it's something, something special. It must have been, I can imagine. Um, at the time of your Proteus selection, you uh, were there any sort of prospect of talks about being included in in the World Cup squad, or rather, was it something that was always churning in the back of your mind? Yeah, as a newbie, you, you, you at the time as a newbie, I think. Um, sorry, um, you. Well, for me personally, I didn't, I didn't have any thoughts of World Cup selection. Um, I was new. I was a new kid on the block. Um, I've never played international cricket. I, uh, I hardly played any any franchise games. So it was, it was something that wasn't on my mind at the time. Um, but other than that, yeah, it wasn't on my mind. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, going to the the spin camp in India. 
So it's no secret really that SA batters are known to to struggle a bit with 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 playing spin, especially when touring the subcontinent. So you and other pro tiers players like uh, Adam Markram and Timber Bubble, um, and other franchise uh, what's it players uh, were selected for spin camp in India uh, before the pro tiers yeah. toured India. Um, how much did you take away from from that camp? Uh, and then with, 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 with regards to actually playing spin and also what would you reckon is the catalyst that makes our batsmen struggle with playing spin? Yeah, obviously there's talks about um, South Africans that being able to play spin, um, as you said. Um, but me personally, I think we, as South Africans, we're not exposed to to... Spinning wickets, ragging wickets, yeah. um, wickets that turn sideways. So I, th- I think that's one of the things that we aren't exposed to those wickets. Um, I think that's one of the reasons. Um, but other than that, that Indian camp, uh, I think it was my first one was in Mumbai. I took a lot out of it. Um, um, if I can recall, we had. Um, uh, I can't re- really remember who was who it was, but there was quite some 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 quality spinners there. Um, as uh, my second one as well in Bangalore, um, yeah, with the likes of um, Paul Adams, um, batters that actually have actually have played under those those conditions. So, yeah, we spent a a, a, a whole week of hard work, um, just batting, just batting, yeah. and batting. Um, but yeah, you you actually learn quite a lot from Indian players and and players that af- actually um, players that are my age that are actually learning as well. So um, no matter how old you are, you don't stop learning. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the the quality of of cricket. So yeah, yeah. Um, you've been with the Josie Stars for 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 both editions. In the first one, you were in a more of an observatory capacity. You didn't get any game time. Um, and then the second one, the, which the first one you guys obviously won, and then the second one yeah. didn't go your way. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment. Um, how was the experience? Yeah. You know, playing with 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 international stars like like Chris Gale, like Daniel Christian, and 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 our local boy. Yeah, um, you're amongst the international players there. You can't go any more further than that, yeah. um, other than the greats of the game. Um, but I think uh, as a as a I think a nineteen or twenty year old, um, you can't dream any bigger than that. Um, <laughs> Being around those players that have got the numbers, um, numbers over ten thousand runs, I think for all formats. So um, yeah, you can't go any wrong with that. All right, um, your second season in franchise cricket uh, was a bit more challenging. Uh, how much? Well, you look back now and 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 you see mistakes. You you notice where you need to improve and whatnot. So how do you go about? sort of improving um, things that you look back on going forward and improving your game? Yeah, I think it, it all starts with fitness, I feel. Um, fitness is one of the things that, 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 that you're going to be actually mindful of um, because that's one of the things that makes you, makes you make those big decisions on the, on, on, on the field. Batting, bowling, fielding, um, etc. So, I think fitness is one of the key mo- um, um, key um, sections that I, I I've actually focused on um, since the end of last season, and and I've actually improved on those on those um, goals of mine. Um, and I think um, there were talks of people saying that. Um, um, 
you need to have a higher conversion rate, as you can see my stats in my first season. Yeah. Um, looking back, looking back for me is I went wrong there because um, I never had 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 the experience of making those big t- decisions um, in the game. So my conversion rates weren't weren't really high. So I think fitness is one of them. Um, also, sorry, sorry. Like also, can I can I just butt in there? Obviously, there's there's fitness, right? So, how do you go yeah. about mentally preparing yourself for 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 games? Yeah, as I said, fitness plays a role. Um, but mentally, for me, I, I I don't I don't I don't do much before games or anything. So, I'll just relax, sit in front of the TV, um, switch off completely from from thinking cricket. So. That's one of the things that I that that made me successful in the past couple of seasons. Um, but yeah, the, the main thing was for me is just switch off from everything. Yeah. Um, obviously, working, working, um, um, fitness wise in the week, two two strengthening sessions a week, um, or or having a couple of runs through. So yeah, I think that that that, that also plays a role. In yeah. your in your preparations. Sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. Uh yeah, it's been it's been a fruitful chat, mate. Uh thank you for coming on to the ball game. We wish you a very, very prominent and successful career further. And yeah, good luck, mate. Thank you so much, Tabs. Um hopefully you guys can can get more more players on the on the ball game and and have a successful career for this um for this youtube channel and see you later thanks mate cheers 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 mate